This 26 Sports High School Hockey presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Cadillac Viking Hockey on My News 26 Sports. My name is Bill Dooley, along with my broadcast partner, Morris Langworthy, and we are just about ready to get going here tonight. And here's the uh, starting lineups. Gisha doing our national anthem with the beautiful job there and Morris we got a, a big crowd here tonight at the Wex. We do and I'll tell you what a high level of enthusiasm as well. Really it's good exciting. to see you Bill. Yeah it's exciting to have this game on My News 26. Doing a little double duty here as we move some equipment around, but we are just about ready to go here. The Sheboygan Chiefs and the Cadillac Vikings ready to square off here. Hey, Bill, you had an opportunity to speak uh, with the coach earlier. What was uh, what was the expectations of tonight's game? Well, Coach Scott Graham is is looking at his team only, focusing on their skating, uh, their hustle in the corners, and trying to take a young team and see what they have and then just basically game to game grow. Okay. So he's got a new team and he's looking to grow it. Yeah, they have three seniors. If that tells anything, a lot of juniors and then there's some sophomores and freshmen. We are underway. Sheboygan right off the bat comes into the Cadillac zone. That puck is shot around the corners. Jordan Adlam, he was their leading scorer last year, tapped it in, taken away by the Chiefs, and that was Adam Janot. He's their leading scorer and captain of the team. In the corner, Ben Farley for the Vikings. He flips it up the boards, and that goes out of play, so it'll be a face-off deep in the Viking zone. Our so referees far. tonight, our referees tonight <laughs> are uh, Marty Schaefer, John Truce, and Mark Blazak. So far in a little bit of play, we've seen the uh, Chiefs are dominating the puck, but uh, the Vikings are holding their own. They're defending it very well. Vikings, like I said, uh, they have some good scoring punch with uh, Adlam and Gussert, and uh, Jordan Adlam has that puck out on the ice right now is also Ben Farley. He had action last year. He's a junior. Puck is back to the point, and that is not held in, and the Chiefs are coming down. Janat on a breakaway. He shoots, nice save there by Nick Meyer. Biggest save of the game so far. 
There's a rebound, another stop, and the Vikings will ice it. Nets off the mooring, so two solid attempts were definitely fended off well. Right off the bat, Nick Meyer is tested. And that was their best score, Morris coming down on a, on a breakaway. Little trouble at the blue line for the Vikings defense caused that turnover. All right, the Vikings are gonna come out with uh, Mike Gussert. And they got Hayden Watkins, who's a freshman, number five. You have to watch him, he's a good skater. Parker James is chasing that one back in the zone for Sheboygan. He'll wrist it around the boards. Dakota Bell is checked there by Cam Leotard. It's good to see that the uh, Vikings are able to keep the puck back in uh, Chiefs territory. Get some, here's a scoring opportunity to the Vikings, and that's an easy save by the goalie. Let's see if we can get a number. Oh, that's on. Carl Bartholomew. Okay, Bartholomew is starting. Mm -hmm. Also getting some time in the net is, uh, is Tyler Kuyper. So. No score, just started first period. Glad you could join us on My News 26 Sports. In the corner is Cam Leotard. His brother Alex is also on the team, so we got two brothers playing. Coming out in front of the net. Vikings are putting some pressure on here. Hooked down to the ice. Now, no penalty, it could have been. Puck is brought over the line. Jacek shoots it right on and crashing the net. Vikings don't like that very much. That was Dakota Bell. And He's getting roughed up a little bit, Morris. Yeah, he is. I'll tell you what, long attempt for uh, the uh, Chiefs. Fended off well by uh, by the Vikings. And the teams don't like when another player will spray the goaltender with some snow and then come right in on him. But, uh, oh, no. Uh, and, you know, rightly so. The proverbial slap in the face. That's right. All right, the Vikings. We've got Brendan Shanahan and uh, Ian Munch out there along with Gabe Gisha. David Carpenter and Brock Taylor has the puck in the corner right now for the Vikings. They'll play it along the boards. Keeping it in the zone is the Chiefs. Shanahan will clear the zone. Right back in for Sheboygan. And they'll dump and chase. Brock Taylor. You know, Bill, we're... Uh we're better than two minutes into this uh, first period here at the WEX, and uh, it's time to give a shout out to our sponsor, uh, Cadillac Casting Incorporated here in Cadillac. Uh, without them, this wouldn't be possible, and it's it's, uh, it's great to have them on board. Absolutely. Play continues on a quick line chain over the zone is uh, Adam Janot. He spins with it, and that one's intercepted by Gisha. Gisha will start right back up center of the ice. Over the line, that one is poke checked. Ian Munch will turn with it. He gave it away, and now Sheboygan will start back the other way. Into the zone, tripping is Bongard. Janot picks it up, here's a centering chance. Oh, right over the stick. Good scoring opportunity there for Sheboygan. Vikings are fighting along the boards. That one is kept in by Parker James at the point. Cross ice, that one is did not make it through, and the Vikings Ian Munch fighting hard. That one never got out, but now it clears the zone. And the Vikings will go for a quick line change. No score, 13.40 to go here in period number one. The Vikings of Cadillac against Sheboygan Chiefs. You know, up to this point, Bill, we've seen um, the Chiefs having uh, twice as many scoring opportunities than the Vikings have had up to this point. But uh, as far as puck handling, they're, per they're pretty evenly matched up to this point. Good skill level on both sides. Jordan Adlam, the senior, dumps that one in. Bartholomew makes the stop. Back out deep in the zone now. Jordan Adlam, he'll play it back to the point. The Vikings take a slap shot, a rising shot, and that one's gloved off by Bartholomew. Trying to get some uh, bodies in front of that one for a deflection was Cadillac. And uh, a little timeout in the action here. No penalties yet. Been no penalties. Clean game. clean game of the first four minutes, and uh, it's been fun to watch. They've been trading the puck back and forth, forth uh, pretty evenly. The Vikings have Justin Smith, a sophomore. I think this is his first game. Now coming down the ice is Jacek Callen. He gets it to 15. That was Dakota Bell. He lost control of it. Back out to the point now to Matt Grisdale. 
Grisdale gives it off to the partner. That one makes it all the way through. Rebound. Scored. Well, Bill, looks like the Chiefs uh, drew first blood. You know, that was the first time that they actually took the time to set up and make the play. And uh, it proved costly for the Vikings. It was a rebound opportunity. Nick Meyer had made the original save, and really he was at the mercy of the shooter. We'll have to wait for the scoring on it, but uh, Sheboygan jumps out to a quick 1-0 lead here in the first period. The play is along the boards, coming out with it. There's a centering pass. Leotard, he's checked. Following up, though, is Gussert. Gussert over to Leotard. There's an offside call. Good job there by Mark Blazek. All over that one. Our announcer, I think, tonight, our PA announcer is going to be Eric Sharp. And uh, if he's here yet, I know he's, he's running a little bit late, but we'll see who, who announces it. Faceoff is won by Sheboygan. Cadillac cross ice to Brendan Shanahan. A famous hockey name in, Mot in Motown. You bet. Loose puck. That was a nice scramble there. Vikings will steal. Hockey wouldn't have been hockey in Motown without uh, the name Shanahan back in the uh, late 90s and early aughts, you know. He was a tough player for the Red Wings, and he still looks like he's in pretty good shape. You bet. The Vikings gave Gisha a turning with it. It's in his feet. There's a play, and just holding on to it is Bartholomew. He'll get a faceoff in his zone. It's 1-0 Sheboygan with 11.46 to go. You're watching Viking Hockey on My News 26 Sports. This is fun, the first, uh, first hockey game for My News 26. You bet. And maybe as the game goes on, we can you know, just explain where our cameras are set up. It's a little bit different than we've had in the past with some other broadcasts. But uh, down the ice now with some speed is Bongard. He'll take that shot. He scores. Oh, wow, that was. As you can plainly, plainly tell, we are setting in Chiefs territory on the, on the uh, bleachers. <laughs> and uh, that last shot. Just cost uh, cost the Vikings another point against them. At first, I wasn't sure if it was in. I heard it hit post, but it was it was in and out really fast. It was just a bullet of a shot, and uh, Sheboygan is up two nothing here in the first period. Vikings have got to kind of settle down. Yep, they got to tighten it up. Good D on the uh, on the puck. You know, it's only been uh, in this last minute that that the Chiefs have tightened up on their offense and are, are passing the puck back and forth and setting up their plays. And um, uh, unfortunately, that last drive by the Chiefs uh, was a solid shot right into the uh, Viking goal. And, Cost uh, no point. We have, a, we have a penalty being called to Sheboygan. And it's a two minute minor to number 22. That's Zach Stemke for Sheboygan. He's going to sit for two, and the Vikings will go on the power play for the first time in the game. Sheboygan's Dakota Bell will clear the zone, and back to play it is Brock Taylor. Long pass, that doesn't connect, and so that gives Sheboygan a chance to ice the puck. Power play for the Vikings. Let's see who they have out on their power play. They've got Jordan Adlam out there. Um, Justin Smith, Ben Farley. Smith with it, watch out man. That we got, it was, there's a delayed offside. Playing it back is Gerstenberger for Cadillac. The Vikings have not got into the zone yet. And big hit there by number 20. Big hit, no penalty call. No penalty. Puck is iced down and it'll be stopped by Nick Meyer behind his own net. And Brock Taylor will start it out. Taylor, he's in some trouble out in front of the net. He loses the puck. We're halfway through this power play. Got less than a minute to go. Boy, Sheboygan is really solid, Morris. I know, they are. And it's, it's time for the Vikings to tighten up and capitalize on this. All right, Vikings over the line. There's a pass, tried to get through, didn't make it. First one to it is number seven, that's Janat. Janat cutting across, nice check, scored! 
Oh my gosh. What a shot. Oh my gosh. Um, As he was falling to the yeah. ice, he put it far post just inside on the ice. That, that's a heck of a shot. Score against the Vikings in their own power play. Shorthanded goal scored by number seven. That's Adam Janot, and that's his second goal of the game already. Yeah. Vikings Gussert will bring the puck back. Going down is Gabe Gisha on the play. Vikings just want to get set up in the zone if they can. Good back check by Sheboygan, but Gussert, he risks that shot. He'll drop it off. They don't want to, they want to keep that clock running. Inter almost intercepted by Cadillac and taken by Dakota Bell. Bell puts it in behind the Viking net. We've got, uh, the penalty is expired, so they're back to full strength. The Vikings, I do not think, they may have had one shot on that. And here's an icing call against they had, Cadillac. They had one shot. They did have one yep, shot. They had one yep. shot and it was caught by the goalie. Yep. So one shot on that power play, that's not enough. And it was an easy one, a long right. one. He had a good view on it. You bet. You know, coming into this, um, we knew that uh, this is a this is a fresh team for the Vikings, and uh, it was a tough match for them last year. This team right here, it's 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 painfully obvious that they're they're definitely outmatched right now, but uh, they can only get better from here. There's a shot that one's turned aside by Nick Meyer, and the Vikings. David Carpenter starts to puck up the right side. Puck is being played in the corner. Carpenter over to Farley. Farley kicks it. So Jordan Adlam will have to come back and take the puck. Adlam going wide. He is taken down. We got a potential trip coming here. Marty Schaefer, let's see what is the call he's going to make. It is a tripping. And that's number 20. Let's see who number 20 is for Sheboygan. That is uh, Gavin Armstrong, the defenseman, a junior. So Vikings go back on the power play. That's you bet. a good, good thing for them. It's definitely not bad for them. They need every power play they can get right now. We've got a 3 to nothing Sheboygan lead here in the first period, 8.42 to go. Carpenter right at the blue line, and that one is taken away. Sheboygan will clear it out. That's too far out in front, and that'll be iced down by number six. That is uh, Parker James. Vikings looking to get something set up here. That pass almost was intercepted, and right back is Bongard to Brock Taylor, taken away by Janot. So Nick Meyer's going to have to play the puck away from him. This Sheboygan team has also got some good size to them. There's an icing call on you the bet. Cadillac. And they're not afraid to hit. The um, Vikings come in at one and three with a, a nice victory over Big Rapids, four to two, and a couple close losses to some downstate teams. And uh, Sheboygan comes in at two and one. All right, the Vikings behind their net, Noah Scott. He also is uh, one of their goaltenders. He plays defense. Power play has got less than a minute to go, and there has been uh, no power yet supplied by the Vikings, so they're waiting to get untracked here. Sheboygan is just so quick on their forecheck that's causing the Vikings a lot of problems. Jordan Adlam, he'll turn with it at center ice. Let's see if we can get the big guy going. Six foot one, 200 pounds for Adlam. And Sheboygan, nice knockdown there, but then it's taken away. Parker James, excuse me, that's number 16. That's Cole Williams. Almost looked like Cole was going to take off with it. Yep. And once again, the Vikings lose it at the blue line, and it's iced down. The power play is... Ticking away, here comes Ben Farley, cuts to the middle, Farley just grazed the outside of the post. 
The Vikings' best chance so far. Noah Scott goes down and it's blocked out at the point. Hayden Watkins, that shot makes nice it post. all the way through. You bet. Well, he's a freshman. Chiefs are, yeah, Chiefs are back to full strength. And I, I remember watching Hayden as a little tyke uh, growing up on the rink and always had a ton of speed, so it's good to see him at the varsity level. Face off now deep in the Chiefs zone. Parker James for the Chiefs will come out with it. Up to Bongard, he loses it. Good hustle there by Gabe Gisha, but he goes down. In the corner, fighting hard for that is Hayden Watkins. Janot with the pass over to Bongard. Bongard, who has one of the goals, he cuts in. Tries to go out front. Meyer stands his zone, and there's a shot that trickles in, I think. Are they going to count that one, Morris? I couldn't see the referee's that, signal. That, that definitely, I think they're going to, I think that's definitely a score for the uh, the Chiefs. Okay. I saw it go in, but it was kind of a delayed reaction there. So, yep, they're going to count that goal. Yep. Four to nothing here in the first period. You know, like you mentioned early on, the, the coach for the Vikings knows that um, he's got a skating issue with his team. And... Um, it's obvious that they need more time on the ice than the uh, than the Chiefs have already given them. Yeah, and I, and I wouldn't say uh, a skating issue. It's just it's a young team, and you sure. can see they're very tentative. Yeah. In the the Chiefs, who are uh, like I said, a senior laden team, they yep. are aggressive. There's not one person that's not going hard in on the forecheck. So exactly, and that's just causing so many problems for them. All right, back to the action. The Vikings put it behind the net. It's intercepted by Dakota Bell. He centers, and there's a shot saved by Meyer, and he's been busy. There's a check in the boards there. The Vikings hand pass down. It's okay in your defensive zone. There's a turnover. Taking a shot there was Jason Callen for Sheboygan. And now Farley will start it up the right boards, and... Callen with the shot. I don't think that one made it through. Dakota Bell. There's a pass to Callen. Bell back to the point. Kept in nicely there by the uh, Chiefs. Brock Taylor will try and start the play, and it fanned on that one was number 16, David Carpenter. Wow, man, I'll tell you what, that was a full minute of being in Viking territory, and the Chiefs just weren't letting the Vikings um, out from behind their goal with the puck. Great forechecking. This is a good game plan so far. The Vikings gave Gisha, he fights off a check. He'll just dump it in. We got a penalty coming up, and they're going to call on the Chiefs. Let's see what he's going to go. Might be a hook. Inter, or hold, they're gonna give him up for a hold. Okay, so Vikings with the third power play. Yep. Doesn't well, you know, I'll tell you what, um, it, it's safe to say that with the aggressive nature that we've seen from the Chiefs, that's ab obviously gonna come with, with penalties. But um, uh, they're also, they're all, they also have a commanding presence out on the ice, more so than the Vikings do at this point. Yeah, and talking to one of the parents of the of the Chiefs, they said that their team is not afraid to get take penalties because they know they've got a good penalty killing unit. So therefore, they can be aggressive and they can, you know, do what they want to do. Linesman John Troost will drop the puck. The Vikings will start off on the power play. Back to the point now. Justin Smith backhands it into Leotard. Cam Leotard back to Smith. Smith to Leotard. Tries to center it. That one's taken away by Janot. He's fighting hard. Kept in nicely there by Justin Smith. He's got Gussert and Taylor. Taylor will take the shot. Oh, and just a, off the stick of Leotard. Great pass out in front. It goes through the stick, and Sheboygan will clear. That's their best scoring opportunity. You bet. Brock Taylor for the Vikings. Steps over the red line, he'll dump it in deep and then he'll chase after it. Bartholomew stops it. Gabe Gisha will be the first one to it for the Vikes. Nice move by Kisha. 
He's going to take a wrist shot, and that one is smothered nicely by Bartholomew. Actually, look at the clock, Morris. Yeah. There's a double penalty, so it is a five on three for the Vikings. Yep. 3.59 to go here in the first period. The Vikings are down four to nothing, but they have a golden opportunity to get back in this game. Yes, they do, and that double power play here comes a break. is a minute away from ending. Dakota Bell. That hurt. That hurt greatly. A five on three advantage, and the Chiefs score another one against the Vikings. You don't see that very often. No, a five you on don't. Five on three shorthanded goal, and that was Dakota Bell. That's usually nice. something you see at the end of a game with a desperation play by the team that's usually falling behind. Yes. A beautiful backhand shot, though. He uh, put it far corner. And the Vikings are going to have a, a goal change here. Uh, number 30 for the Vikings. That's going to be uh, Connor Swaffer. Connor is a sophomore, 5'11", 135, and uh, really, you know, you feel bad for Nick Meyer. You do. Um, it really wasn't his fault. No. I mean, he was just peppered. You know, the sad part about it is is, is your, your goalie's your last line of defense, but you still need the defenseman to head it off before they even get there. You know, the sad part about it is it's, it's, it's been the, um, the offense has been lacking on the Viking side. And you can't lay that all on the goalie. All right, the Vikings have a five on three. Sheboygan will clear the zone. Nice uh, stick work there by Janat. And the Vikes with the backhanded play at the line. Jordan Adlam. Adlam holding on to that puck. There's a shot. Good wrister. Vikings can't hold it in. First one to it. And clearing the zone is number 17. Less than 10 seconds left on that uh, double power play. And it looks like that's going to end before Vikings get a chance to uh, to put the puck back in scoring territory. They're back at full strength. So Sheboygan, they fought it off and they scored as a bonus. Here's the play for the Vikings. Coming in hard. That's number 17 for the Vikes. Chasing that one down. There's a trip on the Vikings. Janat with a shot just wider than that. They're going to pull their goalie and get the extra attacker on. The Vikings will touch up and there's the whistle. And the Vikings will have their first penalty of the game and it looks like let's see that's going to be number 14 Gabe Gisha. Gabe is a senior and uh, we'll get a look at the uh, chief power play here. So with a little over two minutes to go here in the first period, Vikings find themselves in a five to nothing hole. The penalty killers for Kalek is uh, There's a shot that ricocheted wide. That's Eric Sharp. He made it back. So he's, uh, he's in the uh, PA announcer booth. Rinkside pass. This one goes back to Callen. Callen in the zone. Chiefs are setting this one up. Playing a little keep away right now, but there's a shot knocked away by Connor Swaffer. And the Vikings are able to clear the zone. Gussert with some speed. But that one's taken away by number 17 for the Chiefs. That's Evan Jewell. Coming over the line now is number six. That's Parker James. Back to the point. Over to Callen. In the corner. Behind the net. Vikings are doing a pretty good job keeping the puck on the perimeter on this penalty kill. And they're able to clear the zone with 40 seconds to go in the power play. A minute to go in the first period. Now with some speed. Losing the puck is Janat and the Vikings fail to clear. That was Adlam. Picking it up is Bongard. He fanned on it. That puck is loose out in front. Cleared away there by 
number eight for the Vikings. That is uh, Phillips, and uh, I believe Phillips is a rookie too for the Vikings. Yeah, that is Brendan Phillips, a defenseman, freshman. What do we have here, Morris? Another penalty? We have another penalty. Um, it was called against the Chiefs. That's uh, Zach Stemke, and that's his second. So he's been in the box twice already. Yes, he has. Play will come back into the Chiefs zone. So now they're going to play It was down in the far corner on uh, Viking territory, and I get a chance to see who, what the call was, what the uh, call was for. Yeah, I did not see either. It's going to be four on four now with the skaters. Each team is short a man. Adam Janot coming over the line, tries to center it. Janot's the uh, captain for the Chiefs, and uh, you know he, he's he scored two of those uh, goals against the Vikings. Um, he's, a, he's got a lot of speed. He's got a lot of speed, and he's a great handler with the puck. Vikings shot. Oh, rebound! Just put wide. That was uh, Jordan Adlam with a good chance, and now Janot yeah. over the blue line. Vikings are doing a decent job here defending. And that'll end the first period with the score, Sheboygan five, Cadillac nothing, and they will still be fighting off a penalty in the second period. You know, um, that was that was definitely action action packed and fun filled, but uh, definitely not in our best interest. Um, yep. Well, Cadillac will have something to talk about in the locker room in between periods. I'm sure uh, Coach Graham will, uh, you know take a look at what he can improve out there, but they're facing a really good team. It's gonna be an uphill battle, that's for sure. You bet. So at this stage of the ball game, it's safe to say that um, that uh, the Chiefs, for the, the number of uh, scoring attempts they've made, they've probably been um, probably 50%. Would you say they've been about 50% on their attempts? Yeah, they had 15 shots in the period. Okay. So they scored on one, th they had uh, five goals, so they scored on a third of their shots. The Vikings uh, threw nine at the net. Mm -hmm. So uh, a, a nice, that's a very nice uh, percentage in You're hockey, 33% uh, on your shooting. And it's been, uh, it's been the, um, the Chiefs that have been getting all of the penalties. Yep. Hasn't affected them at all. They actually um, scored in a uh, on a five on three shorthanded effort. So right, um, like I said, that's not seen very often. No, it's not. So um, I guess that uh, that's pretty much wraps up uh, our um, first period here. Yeah, first period and uh, our um, play by play of that first period up to this point. I'm Morris Langworthy, and this is Bill Dooley. We're uh, here at the UX uh, watching the Cadillac Vikings and the Sheboygan Chiefs. Uh, we're with My News 26 Sports, and we'll be back right after this.